anti-slob mob anti-slob squad what's up youtube i'm back again new video video today i got for you guys is titled self-awareness self-awareness that's correct self-awareness so basically um me personally um I have seen the benefits of um, obtaining self-awareness in my life. Um, self-awareness is something that I wish I would have known about or I would have been practicing, you know, a lot earlier on in my life. I think that uh, self-awareness could help every single person on the planet. Self-awareness is a very uh, uh, keen uh, tool to have in your mental Rolodex. Um, it is something that will improve your productivity, your relationships. Uh, you'll be able to process your feelings a lot better. You'll be uh, a lot successful, uh, more happier. Uh, you'll be able to communicate with your significant other uh, a lot better. You'll be able to go into a room and read a room very well. But uh, we're gonna get right into the video. Um, for, but one thing, you know, I wanna thank all of my 38 subscribers for subscribing over here to anti-slob i am going to uh make sure that i keep giving you guys um value content try to throw some entertainment aspect in there here and there but the main thing that i want you guys to remember is that this is a self-improvement channel so i'm going to do everything in my power to help you guys to self-improve um a lot of things that i talk about or all of the things that I talk about, you know, are things that I have gone through, you know, I've experienced, I've done research on. Um, so I'm just, again, I'm just not up here talking just to be talking. Um, I think it's very important um, if you are going to be someone that is giving out advice, that is giving out um, some type of counsel, uh, that's trying to help people, that you should be, you know, who you say you are. You should be the man. If you're trying to counsel people on a certain subject, you need to be that also. So um, I'm anti-sloppy, I'm anti-lazy, I'm anti-obese, I'm anti-bad behavior. So that's something that I live my life by. Um, you know, I wake up, I do uh, you know all of my uh, cleanliness things to be tedious and tidy around the crib. I go to the gym uh, pretty much every day. To, uh, you know, get away, get get rid of my slobbish ways, you know, so I can be an anti-slob. I can get down to my goal weight, um, and I, uh, you know, I don't practice any type of bad behavior. You know, I'm I'm a good, upstanding citizen. Um, I don't break any laws, and uh, you know, that's that's the way I'm rocking. That's the way I'm living my life. You know, anti-slob. Well, let's get right into the video. Self-awareness. So uh, just to give you guys a definition, you know, you might have some people here that, know, that, that don't know what that means. Well, self-awareness is just the conscious knowledge of one's own character, feelings, motives, and desires. So you're basically, you know, you're understanding who you are on all facets, you know, how you process feelings, how you respond to certain things. Um, I always like to use this as, use this example um uh, my ultimate um definition of, of self-aware and operating in self-awareness where you could go into a room full of people and you can read that room right so you're not just coming into a room and you just start talking and it's all about what you want to do and you want to talk about what you want to talk about you actually come into the room and you feel the vibe uh you know you kind of like be observant you know, see what's going on. Uh, you know, let me give you guys like an example. Let's just say like you walk into a uh, walk into a room and someone just died, and uh, you know everybody's sad and they got long faces and everybody's real quiet. So you know, a good example of self awareness is that you see that and you respond to that correctly. You know, you don't come in there saying a bunch of uh, distasteful jokes or you don't go in there and start talking about the dead, you know, making jokes about dead people, you know, you kind of, you want to be aware of what is going on around you so that you're able to uh, maneuver and, uh, you know, be a part of the uh, the conversation or be a part of the of the room 
and that you're being fluid. You know, you're 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 adding value to the room. Your presence isn't uh, annoying. You know, you're not obnoxious. You know, you're just kind of, you know, flowing in, flowing out, and you uh you know people are uh you know like I said you're adding value to the uh you know to the to the whole situation. So you're aware of what's going on around you, so that you can interject yourself into a situation and it don't be awkward. You know, so uh yeah. Um, and on this channel, you know, we, we talk about purpose a lot. You know, you want to walk into your purpose. But the very first step before you even do that is you got to know and understand who you are so that you get the right purpose and you get the right things that, uh, you know, that, that that's going to add value to yourself, something that's going to be natural for you to do so that when you're operating in your purpose, it doesn't feel like work. It actually feels like what it should feel like. It feels like something that you love. It is something that you love and you do it naturally. You know, you're doing something natural. People are gonna, uh, people are gonna feel that. They're gonna, they're gonna, they're gonna sense that that you're passionate about it, that you're sincere about it, and it's actually something that you want to do. Like me, for example, anti-slob, anti-sloppy, anti-lazy, anti-obese, anti-bad behavior. This is something that I really want to do. Nobody is forcing me to do this. I like to help people. Uh, I'm helping myself, and uh, again, I'm helping others. So. Uh, that's my purpose, you know. Um, you guys will be able to feel my passion when I talk about these certain subjects, and when I'm on this, uh, you know, on this path to, uh, you know, anti slavery I got somebody calling me. Let me. There we go. So, uh, yeah. Uh, first step is to find out who you are. So, you're gonna take the time to get to know yourself. So, I have, uh, you know, a couple suggestions on how you can do that. Uh, one is that you can go through some type of a counseling. You know, if you're in high school, you're a young man, you know, talk to a guidance counselor. That's what they're there for. You know, I remember when I was in high school, I didn't really have a clue as to what I really wanted to do with my life. So, um, and I encourage uh, uh, young men, uh, girls, boys, uh, you know, whoever. I encourage the youth to try to figure that out as soon as possible, right? Now, it's very possible that you're not gonna figure that out when you're in high school, but at least you should be having the conversation. At least you should be experiencing new things so you can understand what is it that you like, what is it that you don't like, so you can start getting some sort of an understanding of what you wanna become, of what you wanna do with the rest of your life. So, uh, like I say, through counseling, it could be a guidance counselor, it could be a mental health counselor, uh, you know, a combination of the both or one or the other. Um, another thing that's very good is group activities. But when you're doing those group activities, I want you to be observant of how your interactions are with other people. You know, are you pissing people off? Are you offending people? Uh, how do people respond to your responses? So, uh, you know, just be observant of how you are uh, interacting in group activities, and this will help you to get a sense of uh, uh, self-awareness and understanding you know, exactly who you are. Another thing is just being alone. You know, sometimes you do have to be alone. You know, you gotta kind of reflect on what you did right, what you did wrong, or just what you did, period. You know, it's, it's important to do the self-reflection, to be alone so that you can kind of get that time to do that self-reflection, right? And then of course, with all of these things being said, um, what you have in the, uh, the anti-slob mindset when you're going into all of these uh, situations, when you're going into the self-awareness journey, you're being anti-sloppy, anti-lazy, anti-obese, and most importantly, anti-bad behavior, uh, you're gonna be able to navigate um, through the path of understanding yourself and, uh, you know, ultimately getting that self-awareness to where, you know, what we're talking about, what we want to do, what we, what we want to become. We want to be self-aware. So um, another thing, too, about the self-awareness is that you want to be able to distinguish your own belief, beliefs from others, right? So in the world, you know, it's a lot of diversity. A lot of people believe different things. You know, you got different religions, uh, different gods. Uh, different ideologies, all of that stuff, which is perfectly fine. But the important thing about having self-awareness and understanding yourself 
is that you can distinguish about what you believe and what others believe, right? Because you don't want to be just like too easily influenced about or uh, with other people's ideas and uh, what they, their thought process or what they have going on. You want to have your own thoughts, your own beliefs. And there's nothing wrong with, uh, you know, uh, listening and uh, understanding where other people are coming from. But ultimately, you, know, you want to understand you and know who you are so that you can, you know, you're not easily swayed. You're not being a follower. You know, you're, you're, you're following your path and your purpose. So that is that that is a, you know, it's going to be very important on your self awareness journey uh, to understanding yourself and uh, you know getting other ideas interjecting into your life. Um, again, uh, there's nothing wrong with having your own thoughts and own beliefs. This is what makes you unique as a person. You know you're special. You're unique. God made you the way He made you. There's nobody on earth that is quite like you. You know, that's that's the good thing about it. You know, it's a diverse world that we're in. Everybody has their own characteristics that makes them stand out to be the, you know, the perfect, uh, I'll say perfect, because your differences make you perfect, right? So the person that you are. Um, I also want to talk about, there's uh, three categories to self-awareness, right? And uh, <laughs> the one, <laughs> what am I feeling is number one. Number two, what am I thinking? Three, which I love, what am I doing? Because uh, the way you feel could be very different than the way you think. And what you're feeling or what you're thinking could ultimately be very different than what it actually, what are you doing? So um, I, I think it's, uh, you know, you wanna get the processing those feelings and understand your feelings or why you feel this way. Uh, why do other people feel a certain way towards you? Yeah, that's good to understand that, to get that self-awareness behind that. Of course, to get your thought process in order. You know, why do you think the way that you think? Um, you know, actually just start thinking, you know, start thinking about certain things, uh, get that reflection, get, get that down. And like I said, most importantly, what are you doing? What are you doing about it? If you need some work in any of those areas, you know, what are you doing about it? You know, do something about it. The do is always the most important thing. Do, do, do. You can only think so much. You can only feel so much. You're going to have to start doing at some point. So make sure you guys are doing something. And uh, this is real uh, prevalent. 90% uh, of people, you know, believe that they are self-aware. But only 10 to 15% of people are actually self-aware. You know, there's such a big uh, uh, spectrum on that of what people think that they're doing where the, uh, actually what's going on, you know, with a small amount of people who are actually self-aware. And the reason behind that is because, um, one, emotions, two, our biases, and three, our cultural communications, right? So those three things is going to, you know, um, it's going to kind of filter or unfilter um, what we, uh, you know, what we actually think and process of who we are because you know you think that you're one way but uh, your emotions your biases and your cultural communications are going to shape you to be another way you know we, we normally align ourselves uh culturally with uh you know whatever cultural group that we belong to so um you have certain thoughts but your culture that you're aligned with is something totally different most likely you're going to align with what you're you know what you're culturally um uh, group that you belong to, right? But I also want to, uh, you know, once you guys get that self awareness figured out, there's light at the other at the other end of the tunnel, right? Self awareness leads to intense, um, in, uh, not intense, but it leads to increase, increases, uh, leads to increase success, happiness, purpose, and relationships, right? If you are a self aware person you are gonna have uh, a lot of success, right? Uh, opportunities that come to you, with you being self-aware, you're gonna realize, hey, that's an opportunity. And if you're prepared for that opportunity, that's success. When opportunity meets preparation, it, uh, it equals success. So uh, that, that is gonna be uh, key to your success. Uh, happiness, you know, you're a self-aware person. You're gonna be much happier because um, you're gonna know what makes you happy and what doesn't make you happy, right? 
It's not like you're trying to figure that out. You know, because you know yourself. So if something is going on that you know that you don't like or that's not going to make you happy, don't go over there. Don't even waste your time, you know, dealing with that. You know yourself so much, you're going to know uh, what to surround yourself with what, and how to make yourself happy. Self-awareness. Uh, your purpose. I talked about that. So with you understanding yourself, that's the first step to you walking into your purpose and to becoming, you know, the man that you need to be, that leader that you need to be. Uh, relationships. Uh, you're self-aware. Um, you know, you're understanding your love language. You're understanding your girlfriend, your wife, your fiance's love language, right? So you'll be able to communicate that with each other, you know, which is uh, something that I just got put on not too long ago. My therapist, shout out to you, uh, uh, put me on the uh, love language quiz. I took it and I found out that uh, my love language is active service, right? So, uh, you know, just, just kind of like figure out who you are, uh, communicate that. And uh, man, that's it, man. Self-awareness, you know, a self-improvement journey. It's something that's ongoing, uh, you know, it never stops. I'm learning new things every day as I'm on this self-awareness journey, I'm loving it. It just feels like I'm just getting better and better. Like my body is uh, getting better, my mind is getting better, which I have a lot of more work to do as you guys can see. You know, I'm still, uh, I, kept, I was saying that I'm still a slob, but my boy was like, man, you need to stop saying that. You're not a slob, you have slobbish ways that you're trying to turn into an anti-slob. So I start saying that. I'm not a slob because I've acknowledged that, uh, you know, I was a slob and I'm actively doing things to change that. So I'm uh, in the process of setting aside my slobbish ways. I invite you guys to get on that process with me, get on that journey with me. Uh, next video that I make, it'll be an update uh, to the challenge that we got going on. But yeah, uh, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. Um, I really appreciate you guys. My 30 year subscribers want to grow this thing to more and more. I'm never going to stop. I'm going to be more consistent. Uh, this is Monday, August 30th. This video will be dropping. Another video will be dropping on Wednesday. Uh, that will probably be September 2nd or 1st, whatever. But yeah, I'm going to be more consistent for you guys and make sure that I'm dropping that valuable content. I appreciate you guys for being here. And as always, anti-slob.